presentation because I tend to lose train of thought very quickly. So um, I wrote it all down. So I'm just going to read it as we go. And um, do we have a laser pointer? Does anybody? I do not. No. Okay. That's good. That'd be good. So I'm going to Okay. I am going to be speaking on citizen body language. Um, body language can be a a complicated, um, <laughs> a complicated thing to try to explain and to understand. So just keep in mind that everything in this presentation is um, subject to change based on your bird, species, temperament. Um, there are lots of things that can affect uh, body language. So um, these are just basic guidelines and uh, hopefully by the end of this presentation you will have a better idea of what your parrot is trying to say to you. Body language basics. Many different species have unique qualities about them, and when reading body language, it is important to consider a variety of signals to accurately understand what a parrot means. Here are some basic things to look for in nearly all species. Eye pinning, tail fanning, anxiety, dancing and stalking behavior, beak grinding, preening and aloe preening, fearful body language, attention getting body language, lean, point, quiver and flap, the broken yawn button, <laughs> releasing stress, bathing body language, sleepy body language, regurgitation and crop pumping, subtle aggressive body language, striking and biting behavior, and then I'm going to do a special section on cockatoos and cockatiels because they have this magical thing called the crest, and that's a very unique thing in parrots. So. The flashy eye thing, eye pinning. Eye pinning occurs when all parrots, uh, with all parrot species when the pupil of the eye rapidly and repeatedly expands and contracts, also called flashing. This body language is easily noticed on adult parrots that have naturally lighter eye coloring, but may be harder to see in baby parrots or species with dark eyes. Some species will show a drastic dilation, whereas others may only dilate slightly. It can also be noted that the eye is usually wide open when pinning occurs. Notice the picture on the left, no dilation, eyelids relaxed. The picture on the right, eye is completely dilated and, eye and, uh, and the eyelid is open wide. Um, very drastic, you've got a lemon shape on one side and the other side that is just one circular circle <laughs> and uh, the eye is pinning in the center. I tried to get video but uh, my presentation wanted to crash so maybe video next time. This is an adult, uh, actually these are two separate birds, two adult grooming macaws, Sydney and Ronnie. What does it mean? Eye pinning is a form of communication that can help us to better understand our parrots. Parrots usually pin their eyes when they are stimulated and many different moods can be associated with this behavior. Some parrots will pin while being talked to, while talking or vocalizing, when discovering a new object or while eating. They may also pin when they are feeling threatened or as a sign that they may bite, especially in African gray parrots. Some parrots are especially excitable and pin with minimal stimulation, whereas others are less excitable, so minimal pinning will occur on a regular basis. It is important to consider other signals to accurately understand what your bird is trying to communicate. That picture on the left there, that's Miss Chrissy over here at three months old. Um, you'll notice that the eyes are almost completely uh, dark, they're, they're actually, we were just discussing this, they are red, but a, a, a deep red color. Um, as she gets older, they're uh, six months old, her eyes start to lighten as, as she matures, and that makes it easier to tell when pinning occurs. Um, that's that second photo, and then there in the corner on the right, that's her as an adult. Um, you'll notice that the uh, iris is much lighter, and you can uh, clearly see a pinning. Okay, this is Orange Wing, P Orange Wing Amazon PJ. He's our Amazon. Um, there in that first uh, photo on the upper left corner, that's uh, him in a relaxed position. You'll notice that the eye is kind of almond shaped. Um, the first position, he's relaxed. Number two, he's relaxed but attentive. You'll notice that he's a little bit more wide eyed in that photo. Um, number three, wide eyed and starting to pin uh, the, the uh, the iris uh, becomes more <coughs> visible and the pu as the pupil dilates. 
um, number four fully pinned, but he was blinking in that photo, so it's a tricky photo because he, he looks like he's got that almond shape, but he was blinking. Um, and then number five, uh, totally wide-eyed and, and, and fully pinned. Um, that's, a, that's a very stimulated Amazon parrot. So. Okay, that first photo starting to dilate. Um, this again is Chrissy, our Indian Renek. The photo on the right fully dilated, and she looks funny because she was wet after taking a bath. But um, Indian Renecks are notorious for having light eyes as well as macaws. It's it's much easier to see pinny, whereas with a cockatoo or, or uh, you know another species that has really dark eyes, you can almost never see it or um, barely see it if you're really really paying attention. So. Ancient tiny secret, tail fanning. <laughs> Although tail fanning is more common with species that have shorter tail feathers, most parrots will display this body language at some point. In a relaxed position, parrots will likely have the majority of their feathers layered, one on top of another, into a compact package. Tail fanning occurs when they use their muscles to spread their tail out into a fan shape, where each feather is visible. Parrots fan their tails while they are flying, which helps them to stay airborne, but they can also fan in an effort to communicate. Like eye pinning, they often do this when they are excited or stimulated, but more often this is a sign of aggression, especially when accompanied with other threatening body language. Species with longer tail feathers most frequently fan their tails when they are extremely threatened, nervous, tired, weak, uh, which is sometimes accompanied by drooping flight feathers, or simply stretching. A bird that is showing signs of weakness due to overstimulation should probably be given a time out to rest. Parrots that are most likely to tail fan in response to stimulation include cockatoos, amazons, eclectus, lorries and lorikeets, pionis, pyocephalus, lovebirds, and parrotlets. Parrots that are less likely to tail fan and less highly provoked or experiencing weakness include macaws, African greys, conures, cidicula, quakers, budgies, and other parakeets and cockatiels. Okay, the photo on the left, upper left corner, relax. That's a blue front Amazon at ease. You'll notice how his tail is folded together in a, in a nice, neat package in a rectangular shape. Um, number two, fan. This orange wing Amazon is communicating possessiveness of his play area. And you'll notice that you can see every feather as he fans that tail out. Uh, that's a wide fan, and that's a that's a very uh, either very excited or very aggressive. Get away from my my perch. Um, this is our Triton cockatoo, Vinny Batu. He is uh, trying to look intimidating. Um, he's got that tail fan and his wings spread out, and and he thinks he's he thinks he's the king. The middle picture is a white cap pionis, and that bird is uh, tail fanning in response to being cage aggressive. He is not happy that that camera is near his cage. That last one is a blue front Amazon, and uh, he's not aggressive or angry, he's just stretching. So usually when they stretch, you'll, you'll notice they'll either bring their foot back and touch their, touch their tail with the foot, and the, and the wings stretch as well. It's, it's pretty hard to, to, to miss that they're stretching.